Welcome back to In the Garage. And in this episode, Thank you for your purchase of sticker packs from Octum Brick. And in this video, we're just going to talk about uh, how to apply those stickers because you may get the card in the mail and you say, hey, what's what's this? And there's no perforations and such. Well, they're printed on uh, high quality chemical paper, so they're not like uh, Brick Mania would use or any of some of the others that their stickers are usually highly reflective. These ones are a little bit simpler. They are a matte finish. Well, they're not reflective, so if you want to take pictures and stuff, at least you're not going to get any reflection off them. And so number one, let's build our little jig. This is for doing the Tiger Tank discs. Now, this is a 4 by 10 plate, and then you want a couple of bricks. I'm just going to use two 2 by 4 bricks, and we're just going to take those and just put them right in the center, just like so. And then we're going to get a, a 2 by 2 round brick. And we're going to stick that dead center. And then we're going to take a Technic axle. So this uh, this is a 6, uh, six L. Uh, you can use longer if you want. This will just keep it as easy as possible. So for doing the Tiger, this is what you... you it'll make it a lot easier to apply these uh, stickers. So let's just pop off a wheel here. And then just take that and just slide it right down on top. Now it comes time to work with the stickers. Now here is just, uh, this is a leftover that I have here. First off, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut, when, with each card that you have, just take it and separate all the wheels from each other. So at least so you've got, you know, you can get rid of some of the rough, bigger edges or whatnot if it makes it easier to work, work with for you. And then we're going to, now this is just a regular pair of scissors. So you can just use those, uh, hopefully just as long as they're sharp. You don't want anything kind of weak here. And then this is a standard, just a, cent a single punch hole puncher, uh, which is what we need to punch out the discs on each one of these. So what you want to do is you want to line up the uh, head here on the single punch, and you want to slide it right over top. Now just hold it down, just squeeze enough so you're holding the, holding the paper. And now what you want to do is you want to check all the way around and make sure that that center punch is right dead center on the disc, on that black dot in the center. Because once we punch this, that, that's going to be done. So just make sure, just go around until you get it right dead center. And then you punch. Ta-da! So there it is. If you look on your disc here, you can see that there's a round edge all around that. Well, this is going to fit nicely over top of that. Now, there might be a little bit of an edge on there. You, what you want to do is you just want to press press down and around the hole. Use your fingernail if you have to, just to bring that over the edge and press down the edge. You want to do this first before you separate the sticker from the backing, so that way it'll go on easy for you. So there you have it. So that's what you should look like right there around it. So now you want to pop it off. You can put the uh, put that back on. So basically step one, just cut them individually. Step two, do the hole punch in the center. And then step three, uh, do the edging right over top on the each disc to uh, get a smooth uh, edge on the inside there. And then we're going to cut the uh, each one of these discs out so make sure you're getting some decent light and you just want to go around the edge the outer edge and that just follow it around it's going to be a little, little awkward for me here so don't don't uh, be too disappointed and just as you turn you're cutting and when you stop you open up the scissor a bit more and just keep going around this will be the same for any anything disc-wise. And then you just follow it around, keep going until you are done. So there you have it. This is what you should have right after. This is just a nice, fairly round disc, because don't forget, this is a, a black uh, edge around it. So once it goes on that, 
it's going to be pretty well hidden. So as you can see here, uh, it'll be a little bit nicely. Just go with your fingernails around there just to push it down in the center. And go right around it, and that kind of gives you an idea what it's going to look like when it's once it's on the on the wheel there. So now we come to the part where now we have to separate the backing from the sticker itself. So just get a pocket knife, like I have my Swiss Army knife here. You can use an X-Acto knife. It'll work just the same. Open up your blade. Now what you're trying to do here, you're trying to you're actually going to be getting the blade between the sticker itself and the backing. So we just find a spot, and I'll show you with the other stickers, the other types of stickers too, not just the wheels here. But you find an edge. I mean, here it's a little harder because it's a circle. But you want to grab or clip an edge here. So you're just trying to get just in there, just work in there. And that's good there. I think we got it. Yep. You can feel that there. It's a little different working with a circle, unlike the others where you have a, a corner. But here is where you got the back that's separated here now. And you can pull it, open that up. Oh, it looks like this one was over a, over an edge, so you can that's even easier. You can actually just peel those right off. So now, here it is our sticker. So don't want to handle it too much because you don't want the adhesive to let go. So now you put it down over top. Just get it lined up. And then you want to go right around with your fingernail right on the inside. Just go right, just goes right over the edge the way it's supposed to, and then press down. Now you can take it off, and then press down all the way around. So now you've got it, and now you can take that and put that right back on the tiger, for instance. Now, of course, there's the inner uh, wheels here as well. These are the just that's just the outer. So you do these for all of those discs, and I think what have we got? Eight. We've got twelve per side. So there's twenty-four uh, wheels you got to do this on. So there you have it, that is what it looks like. Now let's move on to the regular stickers. So you can just get an idea of the same thing. So it's gonna go exactly the same way. You're doing the cutting and stuff just the same, but here's for instance, a Vulcan Coits, and we're gonna take the, the same thing. We're just gonna cut, just go, nice thing about these is just straight edges. So just find the edge. It doesn't matter so much about the tan parts as you want to just make sure that you don't uh, cut the actual uh, decal. So here we go. We're just going right along the edge here. And, you know, if you don't, if it's not exactly straight, well, that's why you got some practice ones. So you can get some straight ones or practice on some paper and get some straight edges there. Now we do have a straight edge or corner rather to work with. So here we got the old pocket knife. Let's get up there to that corner and you just want to get that knife just at that inside edge there. You want to just grab it. So it may take, take a couple uh, turns at it. I got this edge so as you can see now I fold it back and there it is. Now you can just take the sticker off and you can peel it. So that's how it's going to go for, for all of them. Uh, so don't forget, use your practice stickers and then uh, get good at doing some cutting and then also working on the separation because I tell you, once you get it, it's a breeze and that it'll go very easily for you. might be a little challenging at first, but uh, once you get the hang of it, just a little bit of a trick and it'll work great for you. All right, that is it. Hope you found this helpful and thank you for your purchase of sticker packs from Octone Brick.